So hi and welcome to the Lou Plays next video and today we're going to play a little bit of A Life is Strange. This game pretty new on Steam I think, I've just really seen it the other day and I thought why well, don't we give it a little, little download and see what it's like. It's kind of similar to The Walking Dead in, in ways where it's episodes by episode by episode and this is episode one but it's a lot more realistic and I don't think it's as choice driven as The Walking Dead so we're going to press new game and want to see what it's like. Quite excited actually, quite excited. I've seen a lot of good things about this, a lot of videos on it already, but we'll see what we think of it anyway. Exchange story based game, yes, we know that already. Should probably read things instead of talking. Oh shit, that was loud. Thunderstorms. Well, this doesn't look good already, does it? It's quite wet line on that ground. What's happening? I don't know either. I'm trapped in a storm. Here. It's very wet, isn't you? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Let's make it there then. Please let me make it there. We'll try. So yeah, we'll get we we'll get a bit more control, I presume. We'll get caught on what the walking dead anyway, so I, I don't know why I said that, but looks quite eerie and spooky so far. Oh, it's a horror game. What the fuck is that? I'm moving the camera, don't worry. Oh shit, let's go have a look. Hopefully we can't fall off the edge. Well, that's good. That's lovely. Where are we? No idea. Shit. That is a big motherfucking tornado. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's a boat. Oh dear. Whoa. Oh. That was so it's surreal. It's just, just a dream. Little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. Professor, From teacher, letcher. Now, it's a suave guy. Can you give me an example of a bitch. photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. You are just daydreaming. Weird. Diane Arbus. No look. There you go, Victoria. No Why Arbus? Look. Because of her. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. What's so bad about it? There's only a photo of you looking at photos from behind. Images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally camera. haunted by oh, we're gonna take that selfie. And children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? Yeah. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, oh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A Hello. dumb bird for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Do, 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 of course, as you shit. all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains Didn't that the enough. portraiture has Fair always enough. been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know. I did know. But I kind, but of, I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Calm the fuck down, Is Miss. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. 
Sad face. You brown nose and bitch. Very good, Victoria. Anyway. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in um, people's faces, let's making them extremely the popular journal. from the 1800s. I haven't on. kept up with my journal as much as I should. Yeah, was done by Robert let's read it then. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Don't know. Let's have a look. It looks like a map and then put a little war in there. I like how there's no replies. Spam. Lots of spam. Oh, happy 18th. TTYL. TTYL, kid. Ooh. Got some money from Dad. All about him. And your text My little camera about. bag is battered, but still kicking. <laughs> Isabel, let's go home. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly money. out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. But you would love to do that. You can kickstart lost. a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. I saw you, all right. <sighs> Calm down. God, he's got it in for us, hasn't he? Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Did I see this? <laughs> now we use the computer for a bit. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Max that shit. Just so you know. Paper ball. Ooh, yeah. What was the paper ball? Look at it. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. <laughs> Purge. Lol. <laughs> What are you being up to, Kate? What are you being up to? Kate looks so sad and quiet. Well, today. she's just been discovered. She's got a porn video. Hi, Kate. Expect. Oh, hi, Max. And you're religious as well. How Kate, dare you? I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. T T Y L. Sure. Porn star. Anyway, let's speak to Excuse Mr. Jefferson. Me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Victoria's a bitch. Just putting that out there. What a bitch. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Ooh. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life Adult. won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. All right. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. And it zoned out a bit, but all right. Look at him. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Do you fancy him? Do you? Right, anyway. Get distracted about all these things. Look! Every that's time I look at Victoria, no. I feel like she's talking smack about me. Because she's a bitch, that's why. What a bitch. Let's look at the picture. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. You can see Slender Man over there. Ooh, Slender Man, ooh. TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Cause he's the coolest wait to watch goddamn person alive. This bad boy. This bad boy. It is quite a bad boy. That's the little poster. For the contest. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? Because we're gonna. We're I don't gonna know win. if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. We're gonna San Francisco, and we're gonna do the best. Let's open the door. How cute I looked yet. I was about to. You you welcome to the real world. Then I might send you a special picture of her. Boy, the teacher. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Let's go to the Splash bathroom. water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. 
This is going to be the intro, no doubt, and I think we'll end the episode there. She's so fucking shy. She keeps begging I heard a dirty swear word there, but I'll look over that. Tune in next time for more Life is Strange, where we'll get Max to San Francisco, no doubt about it. Goodbye.